Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be talking about how do I deal with seven stars, seven relic, general Skywalkers. Now, if you guys follow me on Twitch, you would have seen me play Arena many times. A couple weeks ago, I was doing some testing. I figured, let me make a video about it because people are starting to see a couple more seven star, seven relic Skywalkers. And I've had this guy with the seven star, seven relic Skywalker since basically the release of Skywalker. This guy is the king of hoarders, apparently. And people are starting to see them in Grand Arena. Mobile Gamer, for example, phase the general Skywalker. And I want to kind of show what teams have I been using to get past this sky guy right here. I myself am still doing the general Skywalker grind. I'm at, I'm at 15 out of 100 shards. Probably another month, month and a half. I'll have this character at seven stars that's why i kind of want to make the video to kind of help you preemptively get ready for the seven star skywalker apocalypse and the first team that i want to show you guys which i believe is the most consistent way of beating general skywalker is going to be the padme amadala lineup between the the protection up and count, uh, being counted as courage as well as a critical hit immunity and the single high fire damage from courage as well this turns out to be in my opinion the best way to take on seven relic skywalkers of course five star six star skywalkers are pretty easier to beat but with the padme when you're going up against seven star skywalkers seven relics you want to bring in padme amadala in my opinion so let's go ahead and switch this over to the bottom camera and all right so they're gonna go first as you're gonna see oh boy it's gonna be disgusting we're gonna get blown away here and there but luckily between kenobi zeta and uh, the, the attacks on a turn from padme zeta we're gonna be fine uh, Padme Amidala, it's time to shine, girl. Let's get a cleanse going. Once you get this cleanse going, that is when the party starts happening. Luckily, Echo, because they're so fast, they've already thrown their AoE, so I should be able to convert all this protection up into Courage, and Courage helps me quickly knock down General Skywalker. There we go. He's pretty much already halfway down for a nap. Let's go ahead and just actually... Let's go ahead and wait a second. Let's go and throw some Retribution up here on a couple of our characters. All right, here we go. We're going to throw an AoE up. We should be able to knock down Skywalker and start chipping away at the protection of the other guys out here. All right, Sky Guy is taking a nap. First target has to be Fives because with the tactical wearing a Zeta, you do not want Fives sacrificing himself because I tried taking out Rex or someone else a lot earlier. Let's just go ahead do a roundhouse kick that should be enough to take out fives there we go the goal is is to take out these clones as fast as possible take out the whole team so you don't have to worry about knocking down anakin to nap time mode all over again let's go ahead and pass this over she yeah, they got translation they got translation let's go give this to canopster we should to knock out rex let's even try to get out echo as fast as possible let's do a mass assist over on echo oh there we go and let's even get rid of ahsoka tunnel Padme Amidala, the reason why I recommend her because uh, she is pretty much the most consistent way of quickly knocking out anyone. Because the goal is you don't want Anakin to go into raid boss mode like several times. Only give him one taunt and that's it. And this is the point where sometimes it gets tricky. Between the foresight and the protection up, we're hoping Sky Guy doesn't hurt us. Let's go ahead and throw up some more protection because I've seen sometimes Skywalker can completely solo a 1v5 situation. So that's why you want to make sure you're keeping a nice stream of protection up on the team. 251,000 damage. This is what I'm saying. Things get a little cray cray right here. But luckily, once you have the protection up stacked up, bada bing, bada boom, I want you in my room. Padme Madala. Uh, this wasn't even a maxed out relic Padme Madala team. I test this out against seven star, seven relic everywhere. I mean, yes, they were missing gear 13 on Ahsoka Tano. Doesn't make that much material of a difference. This is the lineup to use if you're going up against seven star Skywalkers because those guys are madmans and Padme has the perfect balance of survivability, durability, as well as damage output. Moving on here, let's move on to another team that kind of works as well. And that's going to be Darth Revan. Now look at my Darth Revan. It's pretty miserable. I know. I've neglected older public content trust me you guys don't need to remind me but even though we're at a big gear and um relic disadvantage this team can win it's not going to be as consistent as padme so but if you have a more relic of uh sith empire you should be in a good spot and it really comes down to making sure you keep a nice constant steady stream of fear especially on skywalker because eventually skywalker is going to try to get into solo mode and you want to make sure you constantly throw fear in him so he doesn't get that many opportunities to go crazy on you let's go ahead and hop into it it's gonna get nasty I, i'm pretty sure at the beginning i might lose a couple characters they have the speed advantage mod advantage they have the damage advantage uh this isn't even my best mods in this old republic and i've kind of moved those mods over to my own skywalker team we kind of survived the first part of here that's good you want to also get malik to get dark infusion up as much as possible because this damage output is going to scale drastically and that is extremely important once you finally knock skywalker down you want to be able to blast through those opposing clone troopers right here let's see if we can get a couple of hits here Whew! Big hits around the board right now. Let's see. Ability block disappeared. That's fine. Can we get Anakin to take a nap? Not quite yet. Let's go ahead. Throw on some fear in everyone. Just in time. 
F uh, fives are Ahsoka first. I like to just get the, the let's rip out the band-aid, get fives out as fast as possible. No shock anywhere, unfortunately. So let's just throw some more fear around town. All right, let's uh, try to get rid of fives. We should have a nice big AOE coming in with Darth Revan in a second. Oh, unfortunately, no corrupted battle meditation or mark or anything like that over on fives are Ahsoka. And I do not want to take out Echo truly, really, but we're going to throw ahead, uh, throw an AOE up in here. Do not use Wild Lightning. Right now, if you use Wild Lightning, Fives would sacrifice himself. I know it sucks. I really would like to use uh, my uh, Wild Lightning right now, but we just, if I had Fives out earlier, that would be the case. So if a Skywalker stands up for a second time, the chance of you winning, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a slim ch problem. It's going to be a slim chance of winning, in my opinion. We're going to try to do our best to pull up a win here. Uh, let's see here. Luckily, we got the uh, Rex and Fives out of the way. So that's kind of a good start, but man, whoo, whoo, whoo. Let's go and uh, just knock down Sky Guy right here. All right, he's taking a nap. Let's get rid of uh, both of these guys. This should be enough. We, all right, Skywalker did not get enough time to uh, increase. Oh, we're probably going to lose uh, this match right here. Oh, let's see. I don't think it's going to work. Oh, all right. Uh, in that situation, the problem was there. I, I, I guess I'm glad I kind of showed you this. You do not want Skywalker to go into taunt mode more than once. One time, that's it. I'll replay that battle. That's why I was saying this isn't going to be as consistent as Padme. Padme is definitely the more consistent way of winning here. Oh, we're going to probably lose Bass to Sean here. Come on. One hit. Two hits. Oh, I think we're going to lose it. Oh, come on. Can we get an ability block? Ah, I don't know. We're going to get it. All right, here we go. That was with the Relic 1. Now, there are two more teams that you can kind of use. Now, uh, my uh, CLS team is pretty... It's not bad, but it's not ready yet. I showed a video a while ago when Anakin first came out that uh, Commander Luke and the, the Rebels should be able to take on Skywalker once you get more relics. I mean, as we've seen, we've seen some videos kind of pop up since then with the high relic uh, Rebels doing the job. It's not going to work so much for me because I don't have the relics kind of in a good spot. And you could do a mirror match. Now, I've, uh, if you watch me on Twitch, I've done plenty of mirror matches with the low star Skywalker against the Relic 7 7 star Skywalker we're seeing here. It's not going to be 100% perfect because we basically have half the health of protection and probably a third of the damage that the opposing Skywalker has. But I have had some situations where we do get out there and get some pretty good work done. Uh, but I, if you're trying to get the most work done, you're going to want to make sure you have Skywalker uh, up and running. But as you're going to see here, although we're taking more turns, our Skywalker is going to get just whipped away. Wait, it looked like they've done more damage to me than I have to them, and I've taken more attack. Let's get some dazes going. We're basically just tickling Skywalker right now. We're probably going to get our Skywalker to take a seat in a second. Let's see if we can get some protection up going, and he's going to take a nap now. All right. We're almost there to knocking down Skywalker. Luckily, Fives is kind of uh, taking a few hit stars. All right, sacrifice right there. We needed that. Really, the mirror matches with the low star Skywalker comes down to if you can get your uh, fives to sacrifice himself. And in this situation, we did. So let's see if we can try to get some work done. Now, I actually do. Ah, man, I do not want uh, Rex cleaning up here. But, you know, we're probably just going to the go for it right now. Let's get a couple hits. He's going to clean up. All right. Scott, our Anakin's back up. Let's see if we can get a couple hits over on fives. Boom. He's gone. All right. Start working on the other clones. Let's get some work done on Captain Rex here in a second. Oh, uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get uh, Rex out of here in time. Come on, Echo. One more assist. There we go. Uh, we have critical hit immunity. There we go. And we should be able to uh, make this work out right now. Oh, I do. I really want to use this right now, but unfortunately, we're going to have to save it. We're going to have to save it for when Skywalker uh, goes into solo mode right here. Uh, let's see if we can maybe uh, get this going. There we go. Okay. Skywalker standing back up here. Now, it's going to be really tempting not to, to blow this off of my, uh, my uh, aerial advantage. I kind of wanted to save that for a little bit later. We'll see how far we can get. It's probably We're probably going to burn it really early here. Uh, let's see. Come on. A couple more hits. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, we, and he increased our cooldown, so it's not going to matter uh, too much. Big AOE right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. Stick with us. Come on. Give me an assist. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. We can probably make it work. Boom. Okay. Let's see. Oh, he took away our aerial advantage. Unfortunately, we would have had that aerial advantage and one shot at him right away. We just couldn't get the timeout right. And that does help out when you can get that going. Uh, let's start trying to see if we can do some work over on their Skywalker. We got the armor shred going. Come on. All right. We're luckily, we're tanking some hits right now. Come on, Echo. A couple more hits for us. Whew. Man, these are rough battles, let me tell you. Okay, come on, uh, Echo. How many more hits can you take? That's all. And we're probably going to lose the mirror battle. 
Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to time it out right. Uh, we didn't get the aerial advantage to kind of work in our situation, but the goal was to try to get that aerial advantage set up so we can one-shot General Skywalker. Unfortunately, the cookie didn't crumble in the direction I wanted. And of course, a six-star gear 11 Anakin isn't going to work in a 1v1 situation against that Anakin. Again, it's just trying to show you that as your team scales up, there is a possibility. There was a clip I did uh, on my live stream that I was able to make it happen. But really, at the end of the day, I'm going to play this battle one more time. Padme Amidala is gonna be your queen I, I guess if i had to be kind of conservative we're looking at maybe a 85 plus percent success rate with padme Amidala against these general skywalkers the durability survivability and the single fire damage helps out drastic i mean look right now we're getting obliterated they're like running circles around us. i've lost track of how many turns these guys got let's try to flip the tables around get our protection up going and see if we can get something done it really just comes out to proper courage management like don't just be calling like see right now i really probably don't need to call a mass assist because these two st uh, these 12 uh, stacks of courage should be more than enough so what i'll do is i'll just use a basic there we go if i wasted a mass assist that's a big missed opportunity for later on you want to save mass assist for when you, you really need them the most let's go try to get rid of uh five this should do a nice big chunk of damage right there okay 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 we need to try to get the protection up going anakin i don't like him without the uh, protection up basic right here should uh get some work done. i don't want to call mass assist here almost there let's do uh let's get um Let's give this to Sky Guy for a second. Ooh, that's kind of a big mass assist. I don't want to give it. Let's give it this to. Let's go after Ahsoka right now. All right, there we go. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Let's see if we can get. Uh, there we go. That should be the be the end of five. Let's start working on the rest of the crew right here. Let's do a mass assist over on. Let's go after Echo first this time. We're gonna. You don't normally go after uh, a Rex, but we don't. There we go. We'll go after. Uh, oh, they're standing up a second time. You do not want Skywalker standing up two times and taunting again. One time. That's it. That's all you want to do here. All right, let's see. We're going to have to... This is going to be a little bit more difficult to handle right now. Let's see. Come on, big hit. All right, come on, come on, come on. All right, we're going to do a mass assist. That should be able to knock down Skywalker. At least get him close. Man, these guys are tanky. I've shown you the difference. Oh, there we go. The evasion helps. I mean, the steady stream of foresight on this team and the, the durability with the protection up, it really does come in handy here. There we go. Can I get a couple hits right there? Boom, boom. Thank you for playing. All right, so Katano, let's start getting ready for the Skywalker soul. You want to make sure you have as much protection up as possible before you get Skywalker to stand up. Let's do a little bit more protection up in case someone missed any. All right. See, if, like, see watch. This guy's going to do some bonkers damage. He did 78,000 damage on a non-critical hit, and we were able to win it. I think, honestly, the biggest tip for those Padme matches is right before you're about to take out the Anakin Skywalker's last ally, make sure you have a nice steady flow of protection up. Because if you have that, Anakin's not going to do massive 230,000 plus critical damage. That's going to wrap it up today. Really, I guess the big takeaway is Padme is going to be your queen when it comes to Skywalker mirror matches. Sith Empire, Commander Luke, they're a lot more dependent on having higher relics. But those teams do work as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like if you did enjoy the video. Comment down below on other teams you tried. I've tried General Grievous doesn't seem to be too consistent i've seen random battles here and there but for me personally i can't get grievous to replicate well against skywalker and be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing and i'll talk to all the lovely people in the next video peace out everyone